Hello, in this video we are going to cover cash flow matching. So I recommend that you watch the video on cash flow before you look at this, but the basics of cash flow is the money coming in and the money going out. So we call this income, it could be several sources of income, it could be the one, it could be applied to a business, it could be applied to an individual, and you get all of this, let's say on the income statement, and then on the right hand side you'll get all the expenses and that is what is potentially going out and you'll probably find you'll have more expenses than income i don't mean the figure will be higher in total i just mean individual expenses because that is how it is for the majority of people around the world they'll have one income that will be their regular nine to five job and then they'll you know have some sort of mortgage or rent payment they will have, let's say, a car payment. They will have to pay for fuel for that car. They will have food, you know, expenses. They might have children that they also have expenses on as well. Payment for their phone bill. You know, maybe they have a subscription to something like Netflix or Disney Plus, subscription to a gym, etc., etc. So you'll have more number of expenses. The idea is always to, at least with cash flow, have the income greater than the expen the expenses. So it's basically the way cash is flowing. With cash flow matching, the idea is to, it's an investment strategy. It's a, it's a strategy that allows you to sort of reduce risk that says the expenses that you have, let's say if you know you're gonna have X amount of expenses in each year, make sure the cash flow that's coming in matches it. So if, for example, we, let's say three years, so year one, year two, year three, and let's say we have an expense of 2,000, 2,500, and let's say 2,500. So what you could do is, what you could do, possibly, this is just one example, one simple example, is get a bond, and let's say the principal of that bond in this year is going to pay 1,000, and let's say each year it pays 1,000. And let's say it has a coupon, interest payment, so coupon one, and let's say coupon two, coupon three, and this will be, let's say, 500, and 500 and zero for this. And let's say after the first year, the coup the third coupon payment kicks in and it is a 500 per coupon and it's free coupon and the principal of 1000. So we have this as the expense. This is the predicted expense, 2000, 2500 and 2500. And then we have a total, let me scroll down, a total, a total of again 2000 income, put total, and 2500 total, and then 2500 again total. So that is just an investment strategy of making sure the income that's coming in exactly matches future expenses so that way you are all good thanks for watching pretty simple concept to understand when you lay it down like this if you have any questions about finance or anything else feel free to let me know there will be a link in the description to the discord page where there's probably 1700 members by now it's like 1600 and um, like 89 when i last checked a few hours ago probably 1700 now and it's growing every day and you can get help from programming to finance to crypto to whatever to everything so thanks for watching see you soon and goodbye